politicians, teachers and community members all came out to Pelham's Old Town Hall to participate in Canada's 150 Mosaic Mural. We are creating a mural that's going to be part of a much bigger mural and it's a train car and the train car is going to be representative of kind of Pelham to the rest of uh, Canada. The, the much bigger mural part is a whole train. So every community is represented as a little um, train car. So um, we're trying to pull together some themes and ideas that, that uh, say something about Pelham. We have the community members out. They're going to be painting what Pelham means to them or what's, you know, what, uh, how they feel about art even or about Canada. And we're, we're going to try to have some fun. Uh, we always thought for the 150th anniversary, we'd create one of the largest murals in Canada and we would try to involve the communities to come out and paint the pieces themselves. What does this project mean to the town of Pelham? Well, it means that we're part of something larger. And that's what's so wonderful about this project and the, and the mosaic, is that the little tile that I painted and that other people will paint are part of the bigger picture for our town and the bigger picture for the country. And it, it's much like our country, being a mosaic. Um, not a melting pot, but a mosaic. So each little element in our community can be part of the bigger picture and part of the bigger country. And that's what appealed to us when, uh, when Council was per first uh, given this idea. And we said, absolutely, we want to be part of it. So how did you choose the symbol that would be uh, depicted in this mural? So what we did is we, we went out to the community and we said, what are the top three different things that you think we should use? And predominantly, the number one was the Comfort Maple. It's a 500, more than 500-year-old 500 maple tree in our community that was set aside by the Comfort family back last century. Um, and, and it was essentially, when you think about it, it was a sapling when Christopher Columbus was crossing the ocean. So it's, it has a lot, of, uh, a lot about North America, a lot about the country, and a lot about Pelham in it. And it's the universal symbol that many people feel about Pelham. Sherry, how did you become part of this project today? I actually found out through my husband, who works part-time on the town council. I got really excited because any opportunity to make the arts grow in the area or participate in the arts is always exciting to me. The fact that it was instantaneous, that you get to sit down, paint it, you're done, and it's part of a greater thing, is very, very thrilling to me. So Lewis, one of the most fascinating parts of this whole project is that you've already been to 68 different communities, and which means that you're not quite done your journey yet. When's your anticipated end date? Well, one of our, when we were dreaming this whole mural up, we thought Canada is going to turn 150 years old. Maybe we could do 150 communities. Um, we did a little math, figuring out how big that would be. It'd be like almost a quarter of a mile long of, of mural. Um, looked up on Guinness Book of World Records. Wow, we'd almost be breaking the Guinness Book of World Records. So we thought if we can reach that, but now that we're 60, mural, 60 murals into it, it's, it feels like the end of the tunnel seems really long. We're hoping to reach our goal, and we might have to go into next year. If we don't even reach our goal, we've already reached our goal kind of thing, because it looks, it looks impressive already put together. When completed, the Pella mural will consist of 576 tiles painted over the two days, which is just in time to celebrate Canada's 150th birthday on July 1st. Reporting for The Source, I'm Lori Taraba.